Yep, yep, yep. We just did this. There is no turning back. Oh, geez. What is this? Oh. I have made my mind. What are you doing? Please don't. I'm ready. Go on, do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. That's actually really pretty. Can you see all those stars twinkling in the black outer abyss? All the constellations traced by human eyes and long distance eras? Look now to the forest in the valley, to the old tower, from the last tree in the distance to the stars in the sky. And even the stones beneath our feet are just silhouettes that hide the truth from our poor senses. Ancient shadows that hang over the veil, that hides the world. As if there were, er, as if it were the curtain of a theater, the veil separates the truth from the lie. The veil is a place, Debit, a place of mists. Anthony's great abilities brought you here but his influence will soon fade away. The mask of lies will descend over your eyes once again. You must find the door, as I did. The door that gives passage through the veil. Open it, and we will walk together beyond the mist. I want to? I suppose you are wondering why I called you so urgently. I cannot de deny it. Your letter was truly mysterious. I've been traveling, Doctor, to Scotland. Have you heard about the massacre of St. Gall? Why, yes, the tragic event. Excuse me. Ooh, hiccups. The tragic event has been the continued object of speculation and grim rumor in every newspaper in England. For weeks now, pamphlets have claimed that all kinds of macabre things have been happening there. But I don't understand. How is all this connected with my patient? He was there. I'm afraid he is one of the victims. Dear God! Are you telling me my patient has been murdered? Murdered? Thankfully, no. <laughs> right? Please excuse me for alarming you. I did not mean to give this impression. Air Debit was attacked, but survived. What happened to him, then? It seems the criminal was caught by Air Debit in the midst of the act. Then he tried. Tried to do the same thing to Debit that he had done to the others. Fortunately, the nuns arrived in time to unearth him from the coffin. Air Devitt was hospitalized. The nurses report that he remained, remained unconscious for an entire day. What was Devitt doing there? Many years ago, the St. Gall Hospital was a boarding school. It appears that both your patient and Mr. Beechworth spent a part of their youth together there. 
we can assume that Air Devitt was investigating something. He believed he had found a clue related to his friend's death. What was the cause of all those awful deaths? No one knows for sure. The victims were inflicted with terrible wounds. All of them had an expression of utmost terror on their face. I suspect you did not find Mr. Devitt in the hospital. Indeed, he was already gone by the time I arrived. I have not been able to determine his whereabouts since. I see. What conclusions do you draw from all these circumstances? I have some theories, but I would prefer not to reveal them until events have unfolded. In all of them, there is a fundamental element whose role has not been re yet been revealed. And what leads you to this conclusion? It seems it is something that the Holy Sisters found besides Air Devit within the coffin. An empty hypodermic needle with traces of an ups unknown substance. Oh my god, am I just like tripping balls right now? Episode 4, Ancient Shadows. I'm sure this is the place. Alexander's house must be just ahead. Because I can see frickin' anything. The ancient castle of Pevenancy rests in the distance. It was a garrison first built by the Romans, but was abandoned and had been a ruin ever since. There's a large iron bar latching the door. Unhook that. It's quite odd that the door was latched from the outside. Uh, was it to keep something in? A beautifully craft crafted steel greenhouse. It is old, but still in good condition. Am I going in there, or can I just leave that alone? It may have taken all day, but I finally made it to Alexander's house. And just in time, soon it will be pitch black. What is this? It's latched. I can't open it from this side. Let me guess, I have to go in the greenhouse. No one is answering. Perhaps I should go inside anyway. Just tell the household that I'm an old friend come to visit. Someone must be home. I'm, I'm actually going to check out the greenhouse first. Though it is the worst idea in the history of ever. Oof, that noise. I, I can't see anything, Devit. What are you doing? Alright, let's get out of there. There's probably something terrible in there. Just leave that door open, it'll be fine. Whatever's in there. We'll, uh... We'll definitely not skulk around. A strange woman stares down at me, glaring with a silent reproach at my intrusion. H hello? Footsteps. There must be someone upstairs. How can you hear fucking anything? A silhouette of a man. It bears a strong resemblance to Alexander. The silhouette of a woman. Alexander. Alexander, it's me, Devitt. I'm sorry if I startled you. You told me I should come here, and I came as soon as I could. Could you tell me what's happening here? He gives no answer, but persistently stares at something nearby. He appears to be in some kind of hypnotic trance. When I was downstairs, I could have sworn I heard footsteps. Were they yours, or is there someone else in this house? For a moment, I felt a flash of hope that he was looking at me, but he is unresponsive. Is everything alright? Why are you in a wheelchair? Are you hurt, maybe? Can you stand? He's staring blankly at some distant point, as if he has not heard my question at all. Alexander, please say something. I don't know what to do. I don't understand. What happened to him? Misty dock overlooks a gray ocean. Gulls wheel overhead. This cuckoo clock is covered with dust. 
Seems to be missing an important piece. The bird. Great. Oh god, a time puzzle. There's a scribbled annotation on this piece of paper. The veil is something we sense in our innermost being incessantly. In vain do we waste our lives, craving to tear through. It is... Zyathel. Zyath... Zyathel. The curtain behind which the great wings beat. Inside its ancient mists, inhabit the shadows of those who left. The table holds nothing but a box with the description laudanum to be taken in case of anxiety. It is empty. Whew! Freaking laudanum. Figurine of an angel facing the wall. A fine painting of the local Roman structures. They somehow seem more ancient in this depiction. A huge chest made of oak wood. There's a large iron hook inside. I'll take this hook. There was a fragment of a diary under the hook. August 5th, 1887. I can't work in the basement anymore. Those wretched sculptures, I feel them stalking me in the darkness. I know it is not possible. Oh God, there are weeping angels. I know it is not possible, but I can hear crunches, the flapping of wings, stone grinding on stone. Their frozen par paroxysms. With what diabolical art were those gestures conceived? An eternal movement, attention, an impossible struggle to get back to the life they never had. It might pl I might place them outdoors in the greenhouse and let them mold and let the mold devour them and wasps make nest of their hollow hearts. And that's what I unleashed on the world. This is fine. They, though I'm gonna guess they'd get out anyway, even if I wasn't the one who opened it. A camera tripod. Pictures hanging from an old cord. They look as though they were improperly developed. You can hardly distinguish anything. Oh god, am I gonna have to develop a freaking photograph? Basin with a copper drain. Looks like some kind of red-tinted red -tinted glass covered them. Used to mask the lamp. It's completely shattered on the floor. The lamp is hanging from the ceiling. Its bulb casts an intense white light. The last card containing a yellow substance. The label reads, Frickin' Cyanide. The image of a couple wearing rat masks at a festival. It is a big book of home chemistry recipes. A few pages have been bookmarked and some articles are underlined. I wonder, is there like a lose condition? Like, can I die and have to restart somewhere else? Or, I, d I don't know. Collidin is the vehicle by which the photographic chemicals are united upon the surface of the glass and the sensitive coating produced. Many formulae are published for this article to which great value is attached. Some supposing that to its peculiar composition belong the principal causes of failure or success. This is only in a degree true. Oh, what is this yawning? I just woke up. This is done by pouring upon the plate about one ounce of the vitriol spirit solution and only then adding five or six drops of the cyanide acid. Then the plate must be thoroughly washed in water to remove any excess of the chemicals. They would almost require a chapter by themselves, a long experience conveniences us that nine out of every ten failures occur from a want of care, the presence of dirt, negligence. One cannot be over nice, careful, or cleanly. 
best results always rewarding the most painstaking. If a mistake is made in the order specified in the formulae, quickly flow clean water over the plaque and start again. An instrument whose workings are beyond my knowledge. Oh, okay, a tap. A bust with his face turned around. Oh, God. Freaking weeping angels. A large envelope of black felt covered in dust and ashes. It is labeled with a warning. Do not open it under white light. All right, well, I need that later. It's a letter. Dear Alexander, I have excellent news. A contact from the university has given me access to a 12th century alchemical tome containing an amazing formulary. There is no doubt that sometimes mere contemplation takes the mind to places that otherwise it would have never visited. Leafing through the grimoire and marveling at the exquisite illumination of its pages, I have been struck by a sudden epiphany, a radical but elegant method that I have decided to try. Forgive me for not providing any information about the method itself. As soon as I get definitive or er, definite results, I will write to you immediately. I believe fortune has truly smiled upon us today. Videt Nikiskiat Junate. Picture of an angel with a gentle face. The shelf is lined with strange and complex books. Some titles include The Movements of Shadows, Preserving the Mind, and Lessons Beyond Nature. Uh, why is everyone in this game into some weird shit? <laughs> Now it lets me explore the rest of the house. Excellent. It could be Pevenancy Castle, but in this planing, the garrison is not in ruins. A couple of old teacups sit on the table. One of them is full and still warm. Yikes. An oil lamp. Sure, let's just take that. Just some old bottles. That's what we want. A frickin' oil lamp. So we can explore the darkness. Oh god, there's a cellar. Oh god, there's a well. A rope hangs inside, disappearing into the darkness below. Can we take the rope? No, it's stuck on some. The rope has broken. I'll keep this end. Is that where that lady is buried? Oh god. Oh. Looks like someone was buried here. I can't dig with my bare hands. Why why do we have the impulse to dig? All right. Now we've completed the loop. The cellar door is locked. I need a key to open it. Whew, that's fine. I don't want to go down in there right now. Anyway. It's a diary. The last thing written. Or this is the last thing written. The last pages have been ripped off. October 12, 1887. <laughs> it's been a while since I can't devote any time to this diary for reasons beyond my control. An event most tragic has taken place in this house. 
Mr. Dupre has gotten ill, immersed with an everlasting stupor from which, it seems, he shall not return any time soon. Since the accident, I patiently take care of him. Doctor's treatments don't seem to do any good. I feed him like a child and make sure that all of the sculptures in this house are turned towards the wall. What else can I do? October 13th. The clockmaker just left. He has done such a good job. In the end, Mr. Dupree is not going to be able to notice the change in the clocks that he has so insistently requested. In his state, time will not be a problem anymore. It's like this is a diary of a member of Alexander's household. What happened to them? Pantry with spices and ingredients. Alright, so I have a rope, a lamp, an envelope, and a hook. I'm gonna use the... <laughs> I'm gonna use the hook with the rope, even though I don't know what I'm gonna use it for yet. It's just what you're gonna do in an adventure game. Really, can I open this curtain? I feel like there's something important behind this curtain, but it'll only be revealed once I do something over here. He looks miles away. And I'll have to find a freaking bird. The face of the clock has been turned. Can, can we turn it? No? Okay. That's fine. Well, time to go into the creepy, uh... statue greenhouse. Yep. Hear that stone. This pane looks like it has been broken from the inside. Oh, nice. So they're already, uh, crawling around everywhere. A statue of an angel with its wings spread. Its head is missing. Covered in mold. It is glancing at me with a sad gesture. I need this. You must be careful, it's a powerful acid. Alright, that's nice. Goodbye, forever. Don't follow me on the way out. You, you stay there. Silly. Silly things. Alright, I have to figure out... I know they're gonna come back at one point, though. They're gonna frickin' appear somewhere. And I'm gonna jump and cry and maybe pee a little. That's not true. But I feel like it's probably true. Oh. Am I just gonna do this in the dark, then? Alright, shit, let me read these directions again. Pouring upon the plate one ounce of vitriol spirit and five or six drops of cyanide. Thoroughly washed. Alright. If I think I fucked up. No, stop that. I can wash the heck out of it some more. Alright. You need to put this on a suitable place to work. Alright, well where's that gonna be? No, not that. Gonna have to freaking do this downstairs. Can I work on the desk? Oh. May this document serve as a record of the payment made for the corresponding 
to the following work. The cuckoo clock mechanism has been modified to give strokes exclusively at quarter past six in the afternoon. In addition, a special device and a switch have been added to synchronize all clocks in the house. That's weird. Right, right. Bookshelf of weird stuff. 